yes, it makes sense for the Colts, but it also would make sense for New Orleans. It also would make sense for Carolina. It also might make sense for a host of other teams. So whereas, yes, all right, let's go. Let's go get Jimmy. There's a market for Jimmy Garoppolo. And if you're the Indianapolis Colts, who have now had five quarterbacks in five years, are you the ones who are going to offer, without a first-round pick, enough to bring in Jimmy Garoppolo, who, by the way, is on a one-year deal? Are we doing this again? Are we, go- are we getting a quarterback again in the final year of his contract? I just am not sure Indianapolis is the lead dog on the Jimmy Garoppolo stakes, A, for what they can give up, and B, whether that's what they want, another one-year stopgap with a quarterback, and then we got to do this again next year. McAfee's mumbling is so good in all these clips uh, and his tank top. But I'll take it a step further than what Schrager said, John, on five quarterbacks in five years. This is going to be the fifth in five years. Wentz, Rivers, Brissett, Luck, backwards, and then whoever is this year, five and five. But the the year before Brissett was Luck, the year before Luck was Brissett, the year before Brissett was Luck, the year before that, Hasselbeck, M- Matt, Started Tim. It was Matt. It was Matt started more games than Luck did in 2015. Hasselbeck yeah, started. Remember he got, he got injured, right? Luck started seven. Yeah. So the last time the Colts have had the same quarterback lead them in starts in back to back years was 2013, 2014. Paid Manning? Oh, that was Luck. No, it was Luck. Yeah, but okay. that's the last time it's happened. So when he talks about, are you. Are you going to do another one year potentially if you're Indy? Then maybe you don't. Maybe you like Jimmy and he's not a one year. But uh, that's when he says that right there. I think the I don't think the Colts are the league dog on Jimmy. Like you listen to that clip and you go, God, maybe, maybe the Colts are willing to do something crazy for Derek Carr. Yeah, but to, they just don't have the ammo. I, I they would rather have Derek Carr than Jimmy Garoppolo, but they don't have a first round pick. And to me, not having a first round pick, if I was Josh McDaniels, under no sir. I, you talk career suicide. I actually don't think I, I get what Schrager's saying. Could they do another one year deal? I th- I bet like you just mentioned a little earlier, there is a tangible pressure on that franchise right now. Like we got all these fucking Pro Bowlers, Pro Bowl guard, Pro Bowl uh, running back, Pro Bowl D lineman, Pro Bowl linebacker, Pro Bowl like, and these are legitimate Pro Bowlers, right? These aren't like well, seven guys bowed out and Mac Jones in the Pro Bowl. These are first ballot. Everyone goes Jonathan Taylor. Quentin Nelson, DeForest Buckner, Darius Leonard. We have a sweet team. So to me, it's like, you know, is it ideal to go Jimmy Garoppolo, fifth quarterback in five years? Well, we're probably not getting some guys like, this guy's going to be our quarterback for the next four years. Because honestly, most people thought that with Carson Wentz. When they got Carson Wentz, I'm like, well, even if this goes a little weird, you got it for a couple of years, figure it out. And I'd say the majority of the year, it's like, well, they're going to, they're fine with Carson for the next couple of years. And then the way it ended, why not just, if you go, well, Jimmy just got the Niners in the playoffs. If he can just get into the playoffs, we'll worry about next year, next year. Wouldn't that be your mindset? Like, I, obviously, you'd rather have sign, get Derek Carr and sign him for four years. That's not more than likely going to be an option. Yes, I do think. I do think. I just think you got to live kind of in the, in the moment almost with Jimmy. I, I also think you could say, you know, how do you get a first rounder if you're into? You have now two thirds plus you have a, you have the 42nd pick, the the 10th pick of the second round. Could you get a first rounder with some of what you got from Carson and then use that first rounder as part of a package to get Derek? Would you rather do that than trade? You know, I don't know what a, a third. We'll get to Jimmy's value. Um, a second for Jimmy Garoppolo, where you know Derek Carr is the quarterback of this franchise for the next seven years. We're if gonna, somehow they pulled off that, that'd be an incredible move. They would extend him immediately. They right? would. Yeah, and I think, look, what I just read, they haven't had the same quarterback start the most game, uh, lead them in starts in back-to-back years since 2013, 2014. I understand why he'd be worth more to the Colts in that situation. I And so you'd go all the options then, non and established. <clears throat> you know, I bet they were sniffing around Matt Ryan. Right, to me, Matt Ryan could just give him a couple years. Like, really, Matt Ryan, I saw some it kind of floating out there. Like, that would make some sense. You just get rid of Carson, and you just get a normal guy, some physical flaws, but just gives you a quarterback for a couple years, right? In a dome with a really good team, a good defense. I actually think Matt Ryan makes some sense. Cause all, How about this one? They don't have the – the, I think they would take that. 
Evan I, says, I, how about I, Captain I, Kirk to the Colts? I think Cousins has some similarities with Carson. Yeah. Not as a player, but like the religious element. Does he get do people like him? You know? Well, I think Matt Ryan would feel like Philip Rivers immediately again. I think oh. no wonder, Frank. Do you know when I remember the off season before they got Carson? It was like, you know, we wouldn't mind Philip coming back. I think they realized like, yeah, he's he's old, but it's like still a lot better than probably anything we're gonna get. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And what also, happened? He got led him to the playoffs. Also, if you're if you're the Vikings, Cousins on the last year of his contract this year. If you're if you're their new head coach, you kind of you think you can win some games with him. That'll be an interesting one, by the way. He's don't you a, think you could make the wild card if you're the Vikings? Why wouldn't you just keep him? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, he's, you know what his cap hit is this year? Thirty-two, forty-five. Cousins, cousins. Yeah, and he's an unrestricted free agent after the year. Cousins, that since that first year he got franchised up till this year, guys made a lot of money. Made a ton of money. <laughs> I mean, uh, that guy's made like Bryce Harper money. Think, I mean, franchise, franchise, eighty-six million, sixty million, and the franchise, franchise was like fifty million combined because it was, you know, that was like fourteen, fifteen. That guy's banked a lot of cash. Unbelievable. <laughs> Jesus. I I think Carson Wentz is a better quarterback for the football team than Jimmy Garoppolo is, and I think Jimmy Garoppolo is a better quarterback for the Colts. Than Carson I Wentz is. I agree.